Have you ever wondered if that tub of protein powder sitting on store shelves is the secret weapon to building muscle? Or is it just another overhyped fitness gimmick draining your wallet? Today, we're diving deep into the truth about protein powders, their role in muscle building, and whether or not they live up to the hype. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll not only know if protein powder works but also if you actually need it to reach your fitness goals. What is protein powder? Protein powder is essentially a concentrated form of protein extracted from various sources like whey, casein, soy, pea, or even rice. But it's not just protein. Depending on the brand, these powders might be packed with additional nutrients, vitamins, or even artificial flavorings and sweeteners. The primary reason people use protein powder is to supplement their dietary intake of protein, which is a key macronutrient for repairing and building muscle. But here's where things get interesting, protein powder isn't magic. It doesn't automatically turn you into the Hulk overnight. Its effectiveness depends on several factors, including your workout routine, your diet, and how your body processes protein. Why is protein essential for muscle building? You might be wondering, why is protein so crucial for muscle growth? Let me explain it simply. When you lift weights or perform any resistance training, you're essentially creating tiny tears in your muscle fibers. Think of it as creating micro damage. Your body then goes into repair mode, and guess what it uses to rebuild those tears? Yep, protein. Specifically, amino acids the building blocks of protein. Here's a fun fact, your muscles don't grow during the workout itself. They grow when you rest and recover, and that's where protein does its magic. Without adequate protein, your muscles can't repair and grow effectively. This is why protein is called the king of muscle building. But, does that mean you have to rely on protein powder? Keep watching, because the answer may surprise you. The science behind protein powders. Protein powders like whey or casein are often praised for their high bioavailability, meaning they're absorbed and used by the body quickly. Whey protein, for instance, is a fast-digesting protein, making it ideal for post-workout recovery. Casein, on the other hand, digests slowly, providing a steady supply of amino acids to your muscles over several hours. But here's the kicker, your body doesn't care if the protein comes from a powder or a chicken breast. It processes both in the same way. So, why do people gravitate toward powders? Convenience. Mixing a quick shake takes seconds, while preparing and cooking meals can be time-consuming. But is convenience worth the price tag? Stick around, because we're about to uncover whether you're better off sticking to whole foods. Protein timing does it really matter? You've probably heard of the anabolic window the idea that you must consume protein within 30 minutes of your workout to maximize muscle growth. But is this fact or fitness folklore? Here's the truth while consuming protein after a workout is beneficial. Recent research suggests that the total amount of protein you eat throughout the day is far more important than the exact timing. That said, a post-workout shake can still be helpful, especially if you won't be eating a full meal soon after your session. So, don't stress if you don't chug a shake the second you put down the dumbbells. Who needs protein powder? Now, let's address the million-dollar question, who actually needs protein powder? The truth is, if you're already consuming enough protein from your diet think eggs, chicken, fish, tofu, beans, and nuts you might not need a supplement at all. For example, a moderately active individual aiming to build muscle might need around 0.7 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight daily. That's roughly 140 to 200 grams of protein for someone weighing 150 pounds. Believe it or not, you can hit this target with whole foods alone. However, if you're someone who struggles to meet your protein needs due to a busy schedule or dietary restrictions, protein powder can be a game changer. Are all protein powders created equal? Not all protein powders are created equal. Some are loaded with added sugars, artificial flavors, and fillers, which can do more harm than good. When choosing a protein powder, it's crucial to read the ingredient list. Look for one that's high in protein content, low in added junk, and free from harmful additives. 
Whey protein isolate, for example, is a purer form of whey protein with less fat and lactose, making it ideal for those with lactose sensitivity. Vegan proteins like pea or soy are excellent options for plant-based diets. But beware of those cheap powders promising miraculous results they might be cutting corners on quality. 4. The Risks of Overusing Protein Powder Protein powder can be beneficial, but too much of a good thing can backfire. Overconsumption of protein, especially from supplements, can strain your kidneys, cause digestive issues like bloating, and even lead to unnecessary weight gain. Here's a reality check, your body can only utilize a certain amount of protein at a time. Consuming excessive amounts won't supercharge your muscle growth it'll just be stored as fat or excreted. How much protein powder do you really need? Here's a simple guideline, most people don't need more than 1 to 2 scoops of protein powder per day. That's about 20 to 50 grams of protein, depending on the brand. Combine that with protein-rich meals, and you'll hit your target without overdoing it. Remember, protein powder is just one piece of the puzzle. To truly build muscle, you need a combination of proper nutrition, consistent training, adequate sleep, and yes, patience. 5. Does protein powder actually work? So, does protein powder work in muscle building? The answer is yes, but only when used correctly. Protein powder provides a convenient and effective way to meet your daily protein needs, which is essential for muscle growth. But here's the catch, it's not a magic bullet. You won't see results unless you pair it with consistent workouts, a balanced diet, and recovery. Protein powder works best as a tool, not a crutch. If you're already eating enough protein from whole foods, adding a shake won't give you superhuman strength. But if you're struggling to hit your protein goals, it can absolutely make a difference. Still not convinced? Let's hear from real-life success stories. Many athletes and fitness enthusiasts swear by protein powder for its convenience and effectiveness. Take James, a busy professional who hit his muscle-building goals by incorporating a daily whey protein shake into his routine. Or Sarah, a vegan bodybuilder who credits plant-based protein powders for helping her stay on track. These stories highlight that protein powder isn't a necessity for everyone. But it can be a valuable tool for those with specific needs. To wrap things up, protein powder is neither a miracle supplement nor a scam. It's a convenient, effective option for supplementing your protein intake, especially if you're on a tight schedule or have dietary restrictions. But remember, no supplement can replace the benefits of a well-rounded diet, consistent training, and proper recovery. Before you grab that next scoop, ask yourself, am I using this as a tool or a shortcut? Because the key to long-term muscle growth is balance, consistency, and a solid understanding of your body's needs. Now that you know the truth about protein powder, are you ready to optimize your muscle building journey? If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more science-backed health tips. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay strong, stay healthy, and keep lifting.